Muslims have come up more in this election cycle than ever before. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. At the same time, hate crimes against the community are at their highest level since 9-11. But here's something you're not hearing. The Muslim vote is actually pretty powerful. In fact, it could swing the election. I'm in Florida, one of the key battleground states that's home to a lot of Muslims, and their votes make a difference. When Bernie Sanders won the Michigan Democratic primary earlier this year, it was in large part thanks to Muslim voters who embraced his progressive ideals. But while two-thirds of the community today leans Democrat, it wasn't always like this. In 2000, they largely supported George W. Bush, who had actively courted them. And in a national race that boiled down to just 537 ballots here in Florida, you can bet those votes made a difference. At the time, Muslim voters identified with GOP family values and felt the party was stronger on civil liberties. That quickly changed after 9-11 when Bush waged two foreign wars and ramped up surveillance of the community. And since then, Republicans have done little to win over Muslims. And Donald Trump certainly hasn't helped. The Muslim community definitely feels a sense of urgency around Donald Trump's presidential election bid. They're definitely not voting for him. They're not planning on voting for him. And if anything, they feel a sense of urgency to organize, to reach out, to register the community to vote. Leila Abdelaziz is a community organizer who works to register Muslim voters in Tampa. They feel that their civil rights are directly under attack. So I think, um, you know, Muslims really really understand that a lot is at stake for them and for the future of their, their lives and their children in this country. How does the community feel about Hillary Clinton? You know, the community is very concerned about her messaging that commits to putting more military presence in the Middle East. And I think they're also very concerned about the way that she only talks, or she first and foremost talks about Muslim American voters as potential threats before talking about them as citizens. But despite those concerns, most of the Muslims that I spoke to here appear to be voting for Hillary. Even though she is not my favorite person um, on all issues, she is the one that's actually more responsive to the people. Ashley, who are you voting for this election? Hillary Clinton. Why did Hillary earn your vote? Because she realizes that Muslims are people and we're not terrorists. I'm uh, looking forward to vote for Hillary Clinton. So what issues are most important to Muslim voters? Well, a 2016 study by the Institute of Social Policy and Understanding found that after jobs and the economy, it's bigotry and civil rights. And that's consistent with what I heard from voters here. I think equality in the U.S. right now. Justice, equality, being inclusive, what's going to happen with jobs as far as like minimum wage goes. Islamophobia um, is number one, of course, um, being Muslim. That is pretty much the top issue that we have here. This holds especially true in Tampa, which has seen its share of recent hate crimes. A fire burned down much of this mosque back in August in what authorities ruled to be an arson. And it wasn't an isolated incident. Arsonists have destroyed several other mosques and Islamic centers in the area. And many Muslims here have even reported being physically or verbally assaulted. There's a lot at stake this election, especially for Muslim Americans. We know their votes will have an impact, but will whoever gets elected actually serve the interests of the community?